गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज द टाइप्स ऑफ फर्नीचर डिज़ाइन इन द अर्लियर लेक्चर्स वी स्टडीड अबाउट द फर्नीचर डिज़ाइन स्टाइल्स एंड विच वॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू द वेरियस हिस्टोरिकल एंड कल्चरल आस्पेक्ट्स नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ फर्नीचर आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द फर्नीचर डिज़ाइन स्टाइल बिकॉज द फर्नीचर सिलेक्शन डिपेंड्स ऑन वेरियस फैक्टर्स like functionality and aesthetics of space so for selecting the furniture we should keep in mind certain things and according to those things we have different types of furniture design which we can select for our customer so while selecting the furniture we should always keep in mind the space efficiency according to the availability of space and making the space more efficient we have to select that type of furniture which suits it the most then is the budget according to the budget of the client and then according to aesthetics or according to concept of the architect or designer we can select the type of furniture that we want to use and then last is the user profile by user profile we mean uh, for example either you are working for a permanent resident or a renter or in a corporate uh, buildings you want to design something or in residential use so according to the focus group the user profile also the type of furniture will depend now uh, let me tell you about the four types of furnitures that we have so the very first type is our built in furniture the second type of furniture is modular furniture the third type of furniture is manufactured furniture and the last type of furniture is custom made furniture so we'll select from these types of furniture at the time of furniture selection for our project now let's start with the first type of furniture which is our built in furniture now as the name suggests built in is something which is built or constructed inside your space and it will always be permanent in nature because this structure will be permanently fixed with your walls or ceilings it can be uh, constructed along your walls or floors or maybe ceilings it will depend on the type of furniture that we are constructing so it becomes integral part of your complete interior space when you are building something constructing something inside your area now where is it used where do we use the built in furniture the first area is the area which in which the space is limited now what happens sometimes to maximize the utilization like in studio apartments or in bedrooms sometimes we have very less space and for that if we are going to the market for buying ready made furniture it might not fit in your space then if you want a seamless design you have to give your own design you can select your own material and it can go in uniformity with your other furnitures inside your building so that somewhere makes your aesthetic more integrated and uniform in nature then if you have that certainty that in your house you are going to stay forever you are not going to move you are not going to change your place for the particular function then for that long term functionality built in furniture is the best option because it will be durable it will stay for longer time and then you can repair or maintain it on your own you don't have to buy a new uh, furniture right away so yeah these were the areas Uh, where we can use the built-in furniture now we'll discuss the advantages and disadvantages both of them side by side so the major advantage of built-in furniture is you can have good efficiency of the space so it is ideal for small areas you can use your space efficiently in smaller studio apartments if you are constructing the furniture inside your space then this is clean and uncluttered let's take an example of a bed which is constructed within your space so if i'm making this bed and i have designed it properly according to my space sorry the height seems too much suppose the height is something like this so yeah if i am not making it 
टू ऑर्नेटेड और टू डिज़ाइनर अकॉर्डिंग टू माई डिफॉल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट और थीम गोइंग इन साइड माई हाउस आई कैन डिज़ाइन दिस बेड इट विल एट सम एक्सटेंट मेक इट विजुअली गुड एंड विजुअली क्लीन एंड विजुअली अनकलटर्ड सो या थर्ड एडवांटेज इज इट कैन इंक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ योर प्रॉपर्टी बिकॉज वैन यू आर रेंटिंग आउट और वैन यू आर सेलिंग योर प्रॉपर्टी यू विल गेट द फर्नीचर विद इन द स्पेस सो दैट इन डायरेक्टली इंक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ योर प्रॉपर्टी इवन इफ यू हैव टू रेंट इट योर एरिया विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज फर्निश्ड फर्निश्ड एरिया सो या वैन यू आर गोइंग टू सेल इट इट विल इंक्रीज इट्स कॉस्ट The major disadvantage of built-in is it cannot be relocated or it cannot be moved. Since it is fixed, even at some point of time, you might get bored. Some people might get bored about the same interior layout. So, if at some point you want your to move your bed on the other side, suppose you have a bed here, and in later stages you want your bed here and your study table here, even. If there is a chance of relocating your house, you are changing your place. You want to take all your furniture with you. It is never possible in built-in furniture because all your furniture is fixed. So it is impossible for you to pack all the furniture and go to a new place. So this is the biggest disadvantage. Then is the initial cost. The initial cost is comparatively higher in your built-in because you will have. dedicated labor you will get a labor cost while constructing it even it takes more of your time while building it and you have to bring all the material to your home so in this case the initial costs become very high because when we are planning to buy furniture outside they are already constructed in in factories and they have good amount of material in their factories so that would reduce the cost they already have the labor that will again reduce the cost and there's no time bound because you will get that furniture any time you want so when we are making something custom in built in design you have to pay the labor separately you have to bring the material separately so overall the cost of your furniture will increase we need skilled labor for it because every carpenter cannot make the type of furniture you want inside your building and if it is something complicated like you have some acute angle in your building and you want to construct something here or maybe a designer thing a normal labor or a normal carpenter will not be able to do that thing that's why built in is kind of a tricky job what are the examples of built in for example you have wall mounted wardrobes or you can say cupboards so either you can buy it ready made you have several designs in market you can just buy them and bring them home but sometimes when you want to utilize your space properly you want to use all your space so that you get more of storage you would prefer building that cupboard inside your house rather than buying it then we have kitchen cabinets or oh, again you can buy the modular kitchens from outside but so as to get maximum usage maximum storage and if you want to use the the space properly the clients would prefer building the kitchen in built inside your house so that you can use all the space properly yeah so in this case built in is a good option then sometimes there are some window seats window seats or we can call them day beds they are installed along your window so that you can have a good space for reading or studying and just sitting and looking outside if you want to buy it outside you won't get the window seat according to your dimensions or they will have a default size so it might not use your space as efficiently as a built in furniture would do so in this case again built in is a good option then one of the examples can be your study desks which are made in an alcove built in inside your wall somewhat embedded inside your wall so these kind of furnitures are not something that you will find in the shops to buy if you build them inside your space that will be beneficial yeah so that was all about built in furniture 
The next type of furniture is your modular furniture. You might have heard about this term a lot because nowadays this is in trend and most of your kitchens, most of your cupboards are modular. So many exhibitions, you find many brands promoting the modular furniture. So what happens in modular? Modular, like the word is saying, you have a proper module of a, a section which can be standardized, which can be rearranged or it can be combined together to form a proper composition. So what happens in modular furniture, these people have certain dimensions. For example, you have kitchen cabinets or a modular kitchen. So you have different uh, standards, different modules for two, three size of your drawers and then two, three size of your shelves and maybe uh, five to six sizes of your cupboards installed overhead so they have different modules and then you can use these modules together so as to come up with a combination for example in kitchen you say i want to use six of them on my upper upper side so let's say these are six of these sizes that you are using then you say that on the bottom i want to have two drawers on the upper side and the lower level should have this open area for keeping your open utensils or something so yeah if you can design a proper kitchen by using the modules given by a particular brand so this module can be rearranged, it can be combined or replaced uh, as per your convenience, as per your space. So it is very flexible in nature. You might think that you will get very less options, but they have molds for different dimensions. For example, when you go to shop your clothes, you have medium size, small size, large size and 100 to 200 items of the same size. Same goes in the modular kitchen. You'll have small size, big size, large size, Excel size and 100 to 200 copies of the same module. So you can use and rearrange these different modules together so as to come up with a final composition for your furniture. Fine. So we have uh, different examples of it. The first example is obviously the kitchen. And then we have office workspace areas. You have different modules for your table and uh, you can arrange your boxes like this. So one company will have different modules of your same bench. So you can order 100 to 200 items again. If you have these drawers, you can rearrange them as you want. Maybe you want uh, one drawer here and one bigger drawer here. So again, you have modules for your office workspace. You can rearrange them, relocate them and they can be modified according to your design. Then next example can be your sofa set. In this also, you can have a module for your lounger and then you can have uh, two to three seats. Uh, if you want only two seats, then you can use the module that way. If you want this lounger to be placed on this side, and then you can design it that way. So again, sofa set can also be an example of modular furniture. Then we have storage shelves, which can be used in your bedrooms or in your bookshelves shoe racks so again you will get several dimensions of your modules you can combine them so as to get a desired outcome now where is this modular furniture used where is the main applicability of this the places where you need flexibility for example in your office space you have uh, 10 employees so you are arranging your tables in such a way that one table comes here then uh, 10 tables can come in this arrangement but later on after six months you have more employees then you can have this layout in x shape you can have few tables here few tables here few here few here you will have the same module but then you can rearrange them you can fix them together and increase the space according to your requirement so whenever you need flexibility again we can go for a sofa set if you have one increased member in the family or in some later stages you feel like changing the size of your sofa then you can just order one or more module and can increase the size of your sofa accordingly then 
it is used in rental houses mostly because we can just buy the uh, pre-made furniture for our temporary setups and the people who are going to rent it they if they want to use it they can and they can if they want to update it they can the next area where we use the modular furniture is our spaces which needs standardization for example in institutes suppose you are studying somewhere and then you have a, a same a same design of your bench maybe according to the color scheme of your campus like in our campus blue is the main color of our logo so maybe we are having desks and chairs in blue color we would have to order thousands from 10 to 50 thousands of chairs this means we are standardizing the, the furniture in that area so even if at some point we want more or some of our chairs are damaged then we can easily just order these and they can be used in our spaces. So the spaces where we need standardization, even in offices, suppose we have a specific type of chair and we want everyone, every employee to have the same chair and every uh, owner to have the same chair, then we can, ha we can have different modules for them and they can be easily increased in number or decreased in number. And if something gets defected, we can just order them because they are, actually readily available fine so let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of our modular furniture the very first advantage is it is highly adaptable by adaptability we mean adapting us according to the situation so according to the space according to the requirement we can change the layout we can change the design as per our requirement so that means modular furniture is highly adaptable and customized customizable then second advantage is it is easy to transport not like built-in furniture it was permanently fixed but then your modular furniture it can be easily transport it can be easily assembled and it can also be easily reconfigured if you want to change the overall design you can reconfigure the whole furniture and the last one is it is cost effective since they already have pre-made modules for this, that means we don't have to put extra effort, extra labor on it, which means it will be efficient in cost and we can use it at any phase of our uh, construction. Now, what are the disadvantages? Uh, the first one is lack in uniqueness. Now, since the same modules are being supplied to different areas, that means if you see that one particular type of chair in one office, you can see the same type of chair in any other office. That means you don't have uniqueness of your design. That is not a major disadvantage. But then yes, for some brands, if they want to highlight themselves or stand themselves out, this modular, modular furniture might not work from them. Then is quality. Now, quality depends on... Uh, the manufacturers what happens when you go to market or when you try to buy any furniture online which is modular you will have different manufacturers building the same thing so uh, it looks same but sometimes the quality might change because so as to earn profit the manufacturer can and reduce the quality of fabric or the base material so that is why uh, it is dependent on the type of manufacturer that you are selecting so quality may vary it will not be same same for same type of furniture because the same type of furniture is built up by different types of companies then the last disadvantage is we will have standard modules now we are saying that in modular uh, furniture we have five to six or maybe ten types of modules for same thing but then it will be limited limited to that ten types because you will not have the 11th type and this freedom you will get in built-in furniture or in custom-made furniture but in modular furniture the modules which are available